April vacation is on its way, and what better way to celebrate spring than with the Maritime Aquarium in Norwalk? Director of Marketing Tina Tyson joins us, along with one of our animal experts, Kylie Williams. Ladies, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Happy Thank April. You. I like the sound of that. And Kylie, who did you bring with you today? Uh, I brought Lightning. It's one of our four-toed hedgehogs. <laughs> um, now, it, Lightning is friendly. She seems very friendly. Yeah, he is. He. Um, so they're very scent-oriented. Um, so he's good with me and good with some of our other co-workers. Um, so he does have his little security blanket that he's comfortable with. Oh, don't we all, though, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and no. This is going to be one of the animals during the animal encounters that are happening. Correct. So, Lightning, along with his brother, Bug, is one of... Uh, Bug. <laughs> the hedgehogs are one of the handful of animals that we bring out for our animal encounters. It's a okay. relatively new program at the aquarium, twice a day, in the morning and the afternoon. We bring animals out of their exhibits, and for about a half hour, we bring them up close with guests. We have a special stage built for it. And they're, some of our more terrestrial animals, so the hedgehogs, we have a snake that comes comes out, a porcupine, a skunk, so animals that really um, enjoy being up close with guests sure. and give guests a great opportunity to learn more about them and talk with some of our animal experts. Sure, and Tina, a lot going on during spring break at the aquarium. It is. It's, it's such a fun time to visit. We have um, all of our exhibits and, and our animal encounters. Um, a lot of great programs that we do. We have some daily spring break activities. Mm -hmm. So uh, we hope that whether you're on break this week or next, if you're doing a staycation, come on down to Norwalk. We're looking at some pictures here. The turtle comes out. Yeah, also, the, right? the tortoise is the one of our animal <laughs> encounters. So yeah, lo lots of uh, hands-on opportunities as well as just exploring and learning about over you know our over 3,000 animals that we have on exhibit. Wow, it's always such an educational experience, and I know that there's a new IMAX feature mm -hmm. coming as well. Yep. So in May. We premiere Apollo 11 First Steps. It's a new IMAX documentary, and this year is the 50th anniversary of the moon landing. So we're going to have this movie as part of our rotation beginning in May all the way through the summer. And IMAX movies are included in every... Oh, bonus. In, yes, in, in all your admission to the aquarium. So it's a great way to enhance your visit and... and recall this amazing feat of, of man and science. Absolutely. And Kylie, what's going on with Lightning here? Is just getting he, comfortable under <laughs> his blanket? <laughs> yeah, he's also a nocturnal species, okay. so a lot of lighting is a little bit different for him. Um, he also feels super comfortable under his blanket, so he'll move <laughs> around from us. <laughs> and take the blanket with him. And what does he like to eat? Um, insects. Okay. So we feed him an insectivore diet, um, but so out in the wild he'll eat a bunch of different insects. <laughs> Um, he also eats some fruits and veggies, so we give him that every once in a while. He prefers mealworms. That's his favorite, definitely. Okay. But he eats all kinds of other insects as well. And how does a hedgehog differ from a porcupine? So they are a smaller species, but they're mm -hmm. not related together. Okay. Um, so these guys are from Africa. There are some porcupines in different continents. <laughs> oh, he wants <laughs> to get a, back under he there. He does. He's a smaller rodent. Um, so our prehensile-tailed porcupine, Sierra, that you guys have met, um, she uh, actually eats fruits and veggies, whereas this guy eats all insects. I see. And Tina, I want to mention to our viewers that the cleanup party that's happening oh, yeah. at the end of the month. Party for the planet. If you're in the mood for an outdoor party <laughs> with the aquarium, meet us on Sunday, April 28th. We will be down at Stratford Point. And this is just, a, it's an all-volunteer experience. Mm -hmm. In the spring, right after Earth Day, everyone's interested in being outside. We've, we've sure. been cooped up all winter. Cabin Fever, right? Cabin fever, but you know, it's it's a lot more fun when you feel like you're doing something that's not a chore, like your own yard work. So this is <laughs> this is a way to get out there, do something for the earth. We'll have all age activities from cleanup to planting to mm -hmm. fence building. We're gonna have a DJ face painting. It's gonna be a real it's party. A party while you're yeah. doing something good for the environment. Exactly, exactly. So fingers crossed for, for beautiful weather that day, and we'll see you at Stratford Point. Fantastic. And where can we find more information about the aquarium? All of this is on our website, Maritime Aquarium. Org. Very good. Tina, Kylie, Lightning, thanks so much for being here. <laughs> Thank you. All right, check them out online or go visit them during spring break over at the maritimeaquarium.org.